Hi, what's up? Welcome back to this channel. With me, Trisman Drew from Faculty of Letters in Dr. Methodist Indonesia. And in this video, I'm gonna explain to you all what children of knowledge is. But before I start, as usual, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the ring button so you can get the latest video notifications. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Children Phonology. One of the interesting studies in psycholinguistics is the process of language acquisition that occurs in children who are just starting to learn phonology. Children's language acquisition is followed by prolinguistic development, which starts from birth to the age of one year. Starting from second year, Children can say one and two words until they are one and a half years old. Then a combination of words can be said at the age of one and a half years until they are two years old. When children are two years old, children are increasingly aware that the words spoken have many in a word acquisition and can make questions about the names of objects around them. Early Achievements A baby's ability to perceive sounds precedes his ability to produce sounds. This can be seen when we try to get the baby to talk for the first time. He will immediately respond to our voices with a wink or even silence to pay attention to the sound he hears. Other visible movements and sounds are lip pulling like a smile, and quite often he cups and burps. From that, the baby begins to explore the sounds he can make. Vowel sounds that have appeared in the first three months are A, I, E, and E. Eh. In the fifth to seventh month, when a baby is taught to say hi by his parents, he also immediately tries to pronounce it even though the sounds produced is only the sound I. Phonological Processes in Acquisition Phonological processes are patterns of sound errors that typically developing children use to simplify speech as they are learning to talk. They do this because they don't have ability to coordinate their lips, tongue, teeth, palate, and jaw for the clear speech. As a result, they simplify complex words in predictable ways until they develop the coordination required to articulate clearly. Children experience three types of phonological processes. One, substitution. 2. Assimilation, and 3. Syllable Structure Substitution is the process of sound changes in which one sound class replaces another sound class. Substitution is divided into several parts, namely, stopping. Stopping is the substitution of a stop. B, P, T, D, K, G sound for a fricative, F, V, S, Z, H, T, H, SH, ZH, or affricate, CH, G sound. For example, top for soap, tear for chair. Vowelization. Vowelization is the substitution of a vowel sound for a liquid, I, R sound. For example, Bayah for bear. Affication. Affication is the substitution of an affricate, CH, G sound for a non affricate sound. For example, chew for shoe. Deafrication. Deafrication is the substitution of non affricate sound for an affricate, ch, g sound. For example, sheep for cheap. Alveolarization. Alveolarization is the substitution of an alveolar sound for a non alveolar sound. For example, thumb for thumb. Depalatalization. Depalatalization is a substitution of non-palatal sound for a palatal sound. For example, feed for fish. Labialization. Labialization is the substitution of labial sound for a non-labial sound. For example, mouth for mouth. Assimilation is the process of sound change in which one sound begins to sound like other sounds around it. Assimilation is divided into several parts, namely, assimilation. Assimilation is when a consonant sound starts to sound like another sound in the word. For example, bab for bus. Denasalization. Denasalization is when a nasal consonant like M or N changes to a non-nasal consonant like B or D. For example, door for more. Final consonant devoicing. Final consonant devoicing is when a voice consonant B, D at the end of a word is substituted with a voiceless consonant P, 
PT, for example, tap or tap. Prevocalic voicing. Prevocalic voicing is when a voiceless consonant in the beginning of a word is substituted with a voice consonant. For example, gap for cup. Coalescence. Coalescence is when two phonemes are substituted with a different phoneme that still has similar features. For example, spoon for spoon. Reduplication. Reduplication is when a complete or incomplete syllable is repeated. For example, baba for bottle. Syllable structure is the process of sound change that causes the sounds or syllable to be reduced, removed, or repeated. Syllable structure is divided into several parts, namely cluster reduction. Cluster reduction is the deletion of one or more consonants from two or three consonant cluster. For example, spoon for spoon, tuck for truck. Final consonant deletion. Final consonant deletion is the deletion of a final consonant sound in a word. For example, kah for cup, dah for dog. Initial consonant deletion. Initial consonant deletion is the deletion of the initial consonant sound in a word. For example, up for cup, and for sun. Weak syllable deletion. Weak syllable deletion is the deletion of a weak syllable in a word. For example, nana for banana. Computer for computer. Now you finally know what children of phonology is, and that's all for me. I wanna thank to Dr. Esor Ambarita SSM Hum as my lecture who's guided me for making this video presentation. And once again, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the ring button so you can get the latest video notifications. See you!